Local 24 News reporter Rebecca Butcher found Governor Lee's orders are drawing mixed reactions tonight. Well, the year 2020 was marked by the pandemic, COVID-19, where it dominated headlines around the world. Memphis saw restrictions placed on businesses and a mask mandate like other cities across Tennessee. But now Governor Bill Lee is requesting Shelby County lift such COVID-19 safety measures. I don't think it's the right time to lift the mask uh, mandate restrictions. Uh, I really think that we have to maintain the level of distancing and masking that we've been doing because there are variant strains in the community. Dr. Manoj Jain, a public health advisor to Mayor Strickland, says the virus can accelerate at any time. It would be ideal if we can do it when we get to herd immunity. And so, yeah, more people getting vaccinated. But we really need to see those numbers come down. We're seeing about 130, 140 cases per day uh, in our county. That's too many. And one resident I spoke with says he agrees with Governor Bill Lee's executive order, arguing it's a good move since vaccines are readily available. If you get the vaccine, you are protected. You shouldn't be forced. It should be mandated to wear a mask if you don't want to. But if you still feel the personal, like, I need to wear a mask, then, you know, you're, it's all up to you. Dr. Jane believes the governor's order sends the wrong message. I'm really concerned that uh, an order like this may make people think that the pandemic is over, that we're through with this, but really uh, the virus is still in our community. It's still there in large numbers. Meanwhile, residents like Devin Franklin are prepared to deal with the ramifications of having COVID-19 in the future. It's never gonna really be over, you know? It's gonna be always like lingering around, especially for a couple of years. In downtown Memphis, Rebecca Butcher, Local 24 News.